Hello and welcome to a new video from Circuit Digest. In this video, we will be talking about a simulator, an Arduino simulator, Uno Arduino Sim. A simulator is used to speed up the process of writing and debugging code. As you do not need to have any hardware or you don't have to make physical connections, thus speeding up your process. Furthermore, a simulator simplifies the process of debugging, especially if both software bugs and hardware issues are suspected. Uno Arduino Sim is an Arduino simulator that allows you to do real-time code debugging. On an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Mega Board, the simulator is used for compiling and testing the codes. It has a very simple interface. Uh, it has a code pane this side. We have a lab bench pane this side, and then we have a variable pane. Apart from that, we have a status bar. The status bar shows us the status of the program, whether it's running or not, or if there is a problem. So it tells us the status of the Arduino. We have a flyover. It gives us hint. Then we have a menu bar, which has all the menus and which is used for executing the program or running the program or saving the file. And then we have some functions here. From the name itself, we can say that the code pane is used for programming or writing the code. So if you want to write a code, uh, there are two methods. One is to upload it. So you can do it. The first method is to use file, upload a pre-written code. So for doing that, you have to go to load ino or pd and click on that and just select a program, whichever you want to run and click on that. So your code will be uploaded here and according to your code make the connection select the input output devices and you can run the code the variable pane which is situated just under the code pane it contains the current values for every user it also displays values of variable during execution as you can see it is changing now this also gives a very important function so suppose we want to see a digital waveform we can see a digital waveform by clicking on the pin you can see we are able to see the digital waveform. And uh, we have multiple options. So we have file from where we can load our code. And uh, if you want to edit our code, we have to enter the editor. We can go or uh, we can enter the editor by clicking control E. Or we can save a code as a new code. Then we have a find option. We have execute. So in execute, we have multiple options like step and due. It is used to proceed instruction by single instruction or by one step. Whereas step over, uh, which is used to proceed instruction by single instruction over one complete function. A uh, step out of is used for leaving the current function and going to other, other function. Run to is basically used to run the program only till the desired line. And run is basically to start the program. By halt, we can pause the program. And reset is used to uh, reset Arduino. We can also re reset the Arduino by clicking on the reset button of Arduino. The main function is configure. So the first thing you have to do is uh, go into configure, click on preferences and select the board. So we have multiple options. We have Arduino Mega version 3. Apart from that, we have Arduino Uno. We have version 3, version, version 2 and version 1 available with us. Now to select the input and output, we again go to configure and select IO devices. So the maximum number of input we can have is 24. That is 16 smaller inputs and 8 bigger or larger inputs. Smaller inputs are like push button switch register. This is a small component which can usually fit in a perf board. So we, we can select up to 24 devices, 16 smaller and 8 larger. And select whichever device you want according to your program. And click on load and then just run the program. So now I'll show you the working of it. So for that we'll just run the code. So click on run. As you can see that the motor is moving, it's rotating because we are using this slider with a 5 volt to power our motor. Uh, in our code, we have al already mentioned that our input is 2. So pin 2 is our input. And there we are using a switch and our output is 3. So in 3, we have connected an LED. We have connected our LED in 3. So whenever I press on 2, 
the LED will blink. As you can see, pressing two makes the LED blink. Let's see. Let's try to run the servo motor. We have uh, given the input to servo motor as well now. So whenever I press it once, the servo motor rotates once. So basically, this was a very simple example of how you can use the software. So there are various uh, different features in the software which you can explore by which you can learn by exploring the software. Uh, if you want me to make a detailed video about the software then do let me know in the comments below or if you have any doubts then also do let me know in the comments below and I'll try to resolve all your doubts. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll meet next time with another video from Circuit Digest. Thank you.